the Shell Eco Marathon Americas track has changed for 2016, not in location, but in length. The asphalt course will still run counterclockwise through downtown Detroit, but the lap length has been reduced to 0.6 miles with six 90 degree turns. Here is a driver's point of view from start to finish. Your run will begin here, heading northeast on Jefferson Avenue. The track will be 29 feet wide through the first 500 feet once barriers are added. In this section, the slope will increase from 0% at the start to a maximum of 0.8%. After 500 feet, drivers will experience a half percent decrease in slope. The track also narrows three feet at this point. The first 90 degree turn is 30 feet wide and will take you left onto Woodward Avenue. The slope through the first 500 feet of Woodward is negative 0.2%. Reminder, urban concept vehicles are required to make a complete stop during each lap. Teams should treat this as a stop sign and track marshals will be on hand to verify compliance. If your vehicle fails to stop completely during each lap, your run will be invalid. Track officials will reveal the exact location of this mandatory stop during the first driver's meeting in Detroit. Drivers will make their second 90 degree turn left onto West Congress Street. This section of Congress is 200 feet long, 30 feet wide, and the slope is negative 0.5%. The third 90 degree turn is a left onto Griswold Street. This 300 foot section between Congress and Larnage Streets is 30 feet wide, and drivers will encounter a slope of positive 1.1%. Turn four is a 90 degree right onto Larnage Street. The center line turning radius is 35 feet, and the track width will increase from 30 to 40 feet as you enter the straightaway. Near the midway point of this 800 foot section, just past the Shelby Street intersection, drivers will encounter the narrowest point on the course, just 22 feet wide. The slope along Larnage Street begins at negative 1.6% and finishes at negative 1.1%. The fifth 90 degree turn is a left onto Washington Boulevard. The turn is 30 feet wide with a turning radius of 45 feet. Washington is a key section of the track. Drivers will either continue on the course to complete the required number of laps or exit the track to complete their run. If your vehicle has completed its run, stay to the right. The exit barrier will be visible to all drivers. Caution, drivers continuing their run must give those drivers completing their run an unobstructed path to the exit lane. If you haven't completed the required number of laps, stay to the left. Use the inside lanes through turn six to allow other drivers to safely enter the course. Remember, reaching the start constitutes one full lap.